Welcome to RA Motors, just one part of our automotive and tire demo series. Factory Talk Innovation Suite provides the tools necessary to empower everyone from C-suite executives to shop floor employees to make informed decisions and optimize production. RA Motors is a fictitious global EV manufacturer with headquarters located in Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, the United States, and Western Europe. We have 11 regional plants around the world. John Kasher is responsible for global production and thinking about long-term adjustments to manage operations and maximize profitability. From the corporate overview, we can see that our scrap is rising and our OE is dropping. Two troubling signs for asset utilization and raw material cost. We can also look at the all plant performance. Here you'll see that the Cincinnati plant, which is typically one of our top producers, is operating at below average rates. Let's check in on the US region and see why that might be. Tom Mott is responsible for all the plants in the United States and you can see that OEE is in fact dropping there as well. John might choose to reach out to Tom and see what's going on. It's critical that we not only display the right information, but enable our workforce to take action. Dialing down into the Cincinnati plant, we can see that OE is dropping on Larry here. Larry, as the plant manager, is concerned about the production of the individual plant and managing things such as its schedule and operations. We'll preview the production schedule here, being able to dial into different lines. You can see what's running and what's coming down the pipeline. Let's go ahead and get a plant dashboard view. So we can scroll through each area, be it stamping, EV, body and white, general assembly or tire, and see our OEE, true efficiency, and first pass yields. On some of these areas, you'll notice an alert icon. That's indicating that there might be a problem we should look into. Let's go back to EV area. As we dial into our EV area, we get to look at downtime by duration and occurrence. You'll see that the battery cell is our leading downtime by duration and also one of our leading by occurrence. We've got a number of reworks due to cell failures and a fairly high scrap rate due to failed voltage test. We can go one level deeper, deeper and see the individual line KPIs. So notice that station 14, our rework loop, is the leading cause of these faults. Now, unfortunately, that's causing an accordion effect, which is causing our jobs per hour to drop all the way back to station six. Let's go ahead and schedule a technician to go out and check it out and see what we can do to repair it. Again, using Factory Talk Innovation Suite, we can unleash the power of augmented reality and get a firsthand view of what this repair would look like. If you have Euphoria View installed on your favorite mobile device, feel free to point at the QR code and explore the mobile procedure. If not, don't worry, we'll show a video of what the real life procedure looks like now. What you're seeing is a video from our Electric Vehicle Innovation Center in San Jose, California. The first thing we highlighted is some wayfinding, showing you exactly which e-stop or push button needs to be hit. Once these experiences are published, they can be consumed on Apple, Android, phones, tablets, or even wearable devices like a HoloLens or RealWare. Here we're using IoT in that CAD model to do X-ray vision into the battery cell. So we didn't have to guess and check which battery had to be removed out of those 12. So once we've identified it and removed it, we're gonna have to update it and put a new one in. So again, it tells you which one to pick and we need to update our MES information here. So it's kind of cool. In the top right, you can hit that scan and it'll barcode scan from your device and update into the MES. For us, it's Factory Talk Production Center, but it could be any database. So we're trying to bridge the physical and the digital world. So in this case, we're using feedback from the PLC, databases, et cetera, and augmenting that on top of the physical machine for a more intuitive experience. The rest of this experience is just restarting the system. So in this case, we showed you a rework experience. So imagine you build a pack to non-conformance and you need to rework it on an offline station. I've also seen some interesting utilizations of augmented reality for things like manual work stations, changeover instructions, and training. 
Thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoy the rest of this automation fair from home.